Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Norval with the On Your Side forecast. I hope you've enjoyed today. Temperatures beautiful getting into the 70s at 73 degrees tomorrow up to 77. Some places and that's really approaching 80 degrees. Not a record, but way above average for the first time in a while. We've had a uh, few and far between the days that have been above normal during the uh, autumn season. We're going right back down into the blue, which is below average and staying here for a while. Our first cold front drops the temperature dramatically down into the 50s with a 50% chance of rain on Thursday. Best chance for rain starting at 8 account basically from 930 to about 1 p.m. In that window, there'll be an hour or two of rain showers coming down and then it will dry on out. Friday, not too much of a chance, a slight chance for showers, but after midnight Friday night into Saturday, look at this temperature drop again into Saturday. Saturday has the potential for being one of those all day rains where it starts in the morning and doesn't go until the sun goes back down. So that's what I'm keeping an eye on, and that could be all snow in Idaho Central Mountains above 5,000 feet. We'll watch that, and even when we climb up with our temperatures next Tuesday, we only get to 61, and we're right back down again as we head towards the following weekend. So the cooler than normal temperatures hanging around, which is expected, but as we start getting out here past this 10 days, it's probably going to go back up. At least that's what the forecast is. So 73 degrees for today right now. It is beautiful outside. It will be comfortable when the sun goes down. It will get chilly, just not real chilly like it had been previous days. It's just a warmer air mass overhead. 60s in Idaho's mountains as well. High clouds are streaming in. We'll dim that sunshine before the sun goes down. But this patch of clouds doesn't have any rain with it and it may melt away as it pushes on in, but it will probably give us that kind of a gray uh, overcast uh, view to the sky here. Rain showers are further to the north and west. We've got a good cold front that's coming on shore and that's the what will bring us our showers during the late morning to the middle part of the day tomorrow, especially 10 o'clock, 1030. Best chance for rain in Boise earlier to the west, a little later to the east. Mild weather surging in for the day tomorrow. We've got some heat with temperatures in the 70s. It ends here with a 15 to 20 degree temperature drop on the other side of this cold front. So that colder weather will work its way on in and it'll come right across us here. But notice how there's one low pressure with this front and there's another low pressure behind it. Uh, these will cycle through and we'll get surges of cool air coming in. And that secondary surge of moisture that comes in for Saturday will come in with cold air already in place. That means there'll be lower snow levels and so snow will accumulate down into Long Valley into Boise County as well. Pleasant conditions overhead. Now let's look at tomorrow afternoon. Beautiful, those warm temperatures surging on in. The cloud cover that we have tonight should melt away. I think we'll be mostly sunny, but don't be surprised if we have a lot of high clouds hanging around. Now we push ahead to Thursday. The clouds increase. Here comes that cold front, and there it is, 11 o'clock. Best chance for rain, Ada County, Canyon County, up towards McCall. Watch it break up as the front goes through. And then Thursday afternoon and evening, just uh, partly cloudy, blustery, and chilly. Another weak surge will bring in a burst of of snow into the McCall area Friday morning, which will come and go quickly. There won't be a lot happening during the day on Friday. Friday night football looks fairly dry right now. I'll be out live for the uh, for the um, uh, Rocky Mountain Meridian football game, Friday night football, and hopefully it stays dry uh, for that. I think it's going to, but on Saturday we get a bit of a change. This is the Thursday rain here. Not much, but some, and it will be during the morning hours. Take a look at McCall here. Beautiful conditions. Temperatures in the 50s getting into the low 60s during the day today. There's that high cloud cover streaming in. We go to 65 tomorrow, but then we get rain on Thursday and then snow and rain, as I mentioned on Friday, with temperatures only 43 and even colder after that, as snow is likely during the day on Saturday. It shows up in my extended forecast a 100% chance of snow on the computer charts on Saturday in McCall. So keep that in mind. If you are headed to the higher elevations, those snow levels are coming down. Here's my exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. Beautiful, not talking snow, 77 in Emmett in Boise. Pleasant conditions as that warmer weather streams in a few high clouds. We'll have a southeast breeze like we had today, but it won't be noticeable in the afternoon because it will be too pleasant. 73 in Idaho City tomorrow. How about that? Heading up to Cambridge and Council, 71, 76 in Riggins, mid 60s in Long Valley, while the Stanley Sun Valley year will be in the mid 60s as well. So very pleasant conditions, even in those higher elevations way up into the 60s. Magic Valley forecast for tomorrow, almost 80 in Twin Falls tomorrow. How about that? Beautiful weather coming on in. My extended forecast. Ooh, the big change comes in Thursday with a cold, cold front. We drop that temperature almost 20 degrees there. In fact, uh, at least 20 degrees. And then we kind of hover for Saturday. 
Stay with me on this. Yeah. I'll keep you updated, but it could be one of those all-day soakers. Right now, it looks like from sunup to sundown, we have a good chance for rain with a break on Friday. So I'm trying to find the main areas of rain. Thursday, late right. morning. Saturday, most of the daylight hours. Friday, a little bit of a break. Better enjoy tomorrow if you can. Oh, tomorrow's going to be beautiful compared to that. All right, thanks, Scott. Coming up on 6 on your side,